Welcome to Curie Electronics. Today I will just show you what are the basic functions of a DSO138 digital oscilloscope. So this is the uh, this is the DSO138 oscilloscope oscilloscope. It's a ready-made kit I have purchased from Amazon. So this is the latest version. And I have powered it using a 9 volt DC adapter. If you see, okay, we can see here, uh, this is the 2.5, 2.4 inch TFT display. And this comes as a separate board. Okay. And here, what are the, and uh, here in this one, this is the, our scope probe. This is a probe. And here uh, there are uh, three sliding switches are there on the left side. Uh, this this first the top with the switch which is next to the oscilloscope probe that is the coupling. And when you make measurements using oscilloscope, different types of coupling we use. One is the uh, this is the ground ground we won't use ground coupling. We use AC and DC coupling to measure the AC signals. We will use AC coupling to measure the DC signals or pulses. We use the DC coupling. And this, this is for sensitivity selection. Uh, that is here. See, in the, here also you could see it is, it is in DC coupling. Now, I will change to See now I changed it to AC coupling. On the TFT display, you can see here it is AC coupling. It is showing AC coupling. If I change the ground, what it shows, the display is not showing actually properly, but it's in ground coupling. It's still showing AC. If I change it to DC, even then it is showing AC. So let's see. Okay, then we'll come back to it. Now I'll keep it on the DC coupling. And the second switch is the sensitivity. Here it, it can be using these two. These two switches we can set the vertical vertical unit. So vertical sensitivity. Here we have three settings: 1 volt, 0 0.1 volt, 10 millivolt. And this is prob x1 x2 x5 that means 1 into 2 2 into uh, this is 2 x2 1 into 2 this is 1 into 5 so now i have set it's 5 volt now here in this you can see it's at 5 volt so that is i kept this switch as 1 volt and this switch as x into 5 so each unit will provide each each unit each unit of box in the vertical direction gives 5 volt. See if I changed it to now it gives 2 volt. Again if you want to move it still if you want to reduce it if I give it here it is 1 into 1 so 1 volt. Each division will give you 1 volt. Now there is a test signal this board comes with a test signal I will just show you it is it, this board comes with a test signal. To measure the test signal the ground digital ground I'll use and here is the one kilohertz pulse it gives see this is the test signal it's a one kilohertz signal now okay so we'll keep it keep it back to the see if, if I if you want to go to millivolt also you can go it's say now it's 0 0.1 volt division 0 0.1 volt per division now it is 10 millivolt per division now we'll put it back to 1 volt per division okay now it is vertical sensitivity is 5 volt the, okay and on the left side here we have select if you want to change some parameters there is one select select To change the parameter, we have R minus, this which is minus, 
this this is decrement this is to increment and this is the ok button this is the ok button now we will see which are the parameters we can change this so we will see which are the parameters that can be changed see here if I, when i press select button now uh, see this 0.5 millisecond is highlighted if i press the select button it will change it has gone to auto and the oscilloscope had has got uh, three operating modes that is one is auto uh, second one is normal and single in the auto mode it doesn't care about the trigger trigger whether it is rising pulse or uh, falling pulse or whether the trigger level is set or not it simply whatever the pulse comes it's simply capture and display it on the display the display will be keep refreshing always but if you go to normal see if you see if you now if you press up it will go to normal normal means it depends on the trigger level if trigger level is high then only the signal is going above or below the trigger level only it will update but it continuously it will be capturing the data one is one once more the single in single mode we used to use oscilloscope in single mode to capture just uh, once just uh, like a one shot pulse one shot uh, one one shot or monostable pulse it just comes and goes so to capture single pulse we use the single mode in single mode once the signal it cap once the signal is once it is once the scope is triggered it doesn't refresh the display again and again so it will be under hold so we will keep it in auto mode so to keep it in auto mode you use the decrement function decrement button it will come to auto if i press again select button we can change whether it is you want you want to, to trigger you want rising pulse or falling pulse if i press the increment button rising edge only two options are the rising edge or falling edge so i'll keep it in falling edge now there are two you could see here one pink color arrow here pink color cursor here and here one yellow color cursor this pink color is the trigger trigger level to set the trigger level and this yellow color shows the uh, position horizontal position indicator horizontal position from where it starts where the pulse starts about the reference line x x axis reference line now if i press now it is highlighted this uh, trigger rather we are triggering using a falling edge or rising edge so you can set as per your requirement if i press the select button again see now this arrow color this cursor color has changed from pink to blue that means it is selected so if i press the increment button it moves so that we are to, we can select the trigger level what's the trigger level you need it now okay let it be there that's now if i press the select button again it goes to the okay this cursor again the position horizontal axis has turned blue now if you want to we press the decrement button it comes down see it comes down we can change the position so anyway i'll put it back so this is how you change the position of the cursor so okay now it is there so this is a wonderful tool for a, a beginner a ds1 ds10 ds0138 and this are one otg connection is there then okay here one led is there here one red and green color led is there which indicates the trigger and when the here here one more option see the trigger level what is the set trigger level it shows here 0 0.8 volt is the set trigger level and see now when you power up so this is a reset button we can just reset and see how the how this do it yourself oscilloscope starts if i press reset it power on like this ds130 one ds0138 one, 
Okay, now we will see. Okay, now once we will measure and see our test signal to measure the see once after powering it up, first you have to measure the test setup, test signal. I am using the digital ground. Next, I am using the one kilohertz, three point three volt. He has mentioned here. Okay, we are our scale is five volt. We will change the scale. To change the scale, how do you change the scale? I will make one volt per division. So for that, come to come to select. Oh, you can't change there. You have to come here using this. This is a one volt. Using these two combinations, you have to change. Now one into x one. Now we will see three point three volt, one kilo hertz. Uh, this is the probe input. Uh, it has come 3.3 volt. 1, 2, 3 divisions. Almost 3.3 divisions. Accuracy won't be like a tectronics oscilloscope. Okay. So, but for a beginner or a person who services equipment or a hobbyist, this copy is good. Now, I have a pulse width. I have a PWM module here. This is a PWM generator. Here, uh, here, uh, this this is the hertz it shows. What is this is a, this is set at hundred hertz. Duty cycle is zero point seventy five percent. Duty cycle is the seventy five percent. We will just measure and see how it uh, how it performs. So I will take out these two pins which I used to measure. And now uh, this is the ground. is the ground ground is connected now pwm output pwm output okay okay this is a 12 volt so this is a 12 volt pulse so it's not able to display it properly so what you have to do now i'll make it i made it 1 into 5 now it's 2 Two divisions it is now it will change the frequency in this 100 hertz 100 hertz so we we'll make it 100 hertz okay we'll change the it's 100 hertz so now we can see the pulse see 75 percent is the duty cycle that means 75 percent time it is on and 25 percent time it is off so it is coming perfectly now Okay, we will just decrease the duty cycle. If I decrease the duty cycle, duty cycle is 23 percent. Now, duty cycle is 23 percent. So, it, the scope is able to, this DSO138 is working well. So, this is the, now this is 23 percent on time and remaining 70, 77 percent it is off. Now, let me change the frequency, to what frequency? Uh, this this module I think it can vary up to 100 kilohertz. Let's see. Let wait, let me change the frequency now. I'm sorry, I just decreased. Eh? Let me increase the frequency. Now the frequency is increasing. Okay, I have this is now five point around 10 kilohertz we will try to set it 10 kilohertz we will set it so so it's a high frequency frequency has increased i will set it to 10 that is around 9 kilohertz This PWM module is fast. Okay, now it is 10 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz. Now we will vary the time scale. Okay, so this is a 10 kilohertz. See now, in case if you want to freeze the signal, what you will do? You can press the OK button here. Once you press the OK button, the screen becomes freeze. Okay, once more if you press, you start refreshing the display. Now I think I'll increase the frequency a little more. Okay, we'll increase the duty cycle a little. We'll make it 50%. 
I don't have a sine wave generator, so this is a uh, one module I had. So now it is fifty percent. Fifty percent is the duty cycle. Okay, now uh, I will increase the frequency. Now it is ninety eight kilohertz. Ninety eight kilohertz. Now, so let let us uh, increase decrease the scale. Okay, twenty millisecond. The fifty uh, twenty millisecond scale is where you are getting it. So fifty millisecond. Let me change it. Okay, it has highlighted. Now, twenty millisecond scale. Oh, to see when you press OK button, it shows hold here. Hold, hold. So that means again, if you run, it is running. Now it's running. 10 millisecond, 5 millisecond. Okay, it is in normal mode. We'll just put it in the auto. Okay, auto. So 98 kilohertz, it is showing like this at 20 milliseconds. So I think it uh, it can show up to 100, 100 kilohertz. It shows properly. So this is just an introduction to how how after purchase purchasing a DS DS DSO one three eight digital storage oscilloscope one three eight do it yourself. So just to review. This is a, a recent. This is a newest version of the this scope. Now. It comes with uh, one more document. See, you could see one of the document like this one document comes. Here, yeah, this document shows there's one more option also there. The prop calibration option also they are given. So you can go through this document and the different modes of the operation auto mode, auto mode, normal mode, single mode. And and he has given what are the specs of specification also oscilloscope also. Yes, given. Specification also he has given it. Okay, so here everything is mentioned. What are the keys, parameters, everything? Okay, so once you operate it, it is a, it is a really good oscilloscope for under two thousand rupees. And there is a circuit diagram also. Uh, who are more interested in it? They can go through the circuit diagram. So they have provided the circuit diagram also. I will put it as a scan document in the description. You could just see it. So if you are planning to get at a oscilloscope for cheap cheap rate, you can go for it. And for a hobbyist and a student, at this I think this is good enough. Not for high frequencies. You can see the spec. It supports up to 200 kilohertz. And to how to assemble everything is given in the document. Okay, how the how if, if it in case if it doesn't work, how do you check all those things are if they are in the oscillus in the document? So friends, thanks for watching. Please share the video with your friends. We will see you again with a wonderful video. I hope it will be useful to all of you over like to have a simple oscilloscope and this is the next i will try to explain you what is a pwm pwm using this module and some theoretical explanations so next we will try to see how what is a pwm how do we control it what are the variations why do we use the pwm all those things we will know okay thanks for watching please subscribe the channel and share with your friends. Thank you.